In this section of the tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a video from scratch. A video from scratch. So let's say you can come over as you log in, you can just come over to create a new video over here. You just click on this and it's going to bring you to this main platform. The first thing you need to do is to save your project. Okay, so it's going to be you create a name by coming here and just clicking and let's say maybe trial video one trial video x okay so this is trial video x you click out and it has been saved okay the only thing is it's not going to be saved in the cloud but you can find it in at the other home page if you if you are if you're interested in seeing what you're working on currently so you've now created a project so the next thing is to see the general overview let me just take you through some of the key features over here some of the key features that we have in clipchamp so for example at the top here this section is the media bin this is where you down you import all your media okay this is where you dump all of them you can either drag and drop or you can click here to navigate to wherever you have those media within your computer or you can come over here click on this drop down and you can see you can import media from the browser directly from or from your computer you can browse and take in files from your computer with any location from any location that you have you can go ahead and bring in files or you can take in files from your phone or from OneDrive if you've connected OneDrive to your computer you can easily import files from OneDrive Google Drive or Google Photos also you can or Dropbox you can bring in files also from here you can link up and bring in files so they have linked all these platforms to click jump so this is important you have the range of other tabs over here from from the media to record and create we've just talked about recording and creating how you can use record and create to create recorded tutorials uh, record your screen and camera screen only or camera only or you can do text to speech or you have a number of templates if you want to start a video from templates i've shown you how you can use it to record an intro outro or instagram reels or youtube videos or social media gaming videos slideshows or TikTok or the above you can see a number of them over here so you can go ahead and play around with it to see how you are and what you can do from templates okay and then you have music and sound effects so usually you can have a number of them music and sound effects in clipchamp some of them are free you can click to see all you can click to see more the free to use ones the ones that are paid you can see them with this sign okay you have to upgrade to use them but if you are interested in any kind of uh, music and sound effects you can find them here a lot of them okay so you can check out music and you can see a lot of them over here and if you want to check out sound effects you can also see a number of sound effects like the whoosh sound the push lower pitch sound the sparkle sound the beep sound you can see all of them over here and each one once you play here you can have a preview of of what it is and what to expect Happy New Year! Happy New Year! i think we've had the preview so this is some um, music and sound effects later i will show you how to drag in and put them in your clip as you are editing the video in the timeline so then you have stock videos you have a number of stock videos although you don't have much of them i will show you where to get more if you want to get more or well, in clipchamp you don't have much of this footage uh, free of charge some of them are available but they are on the paid version but i will show you how to get uh, this kind of similar footage stock footage as well which are royalty free and a very easy to use uh, copyright free okay then we have stock images there are a number of stock images also that you can is easily bring into your editing and have your video made up and you have text features also you have the text pan the depth text tab over here and you can see as you navigate over the as you hover over the text you will be able to see a preview of it and what it does and what you can use it for during your editing process there are a number of them are very very nice to use and then you have graphics there are a number of graphics that you can bring in on your own very easily you can hover over to see the effects and once you click on the plus sign or you can drag and drop into the timeline that particular graphics is going to be part of your editing and we have transitions as we edit maybe we're going to see how to use transitions across and then brand kits brand kits actually is for paid version if you want to have your fonts and colors and logos uh, uh, branded over here you can do that uh, on your own and then over here you have other features like if you select a given clip you can be able to adjust its properties like the audio properties the fading properties and the filter properties you can do all that from here the adjust you can adjust coloration later i will show you how to use all these to adjust color to adjust speed clip speed to insert transitions and color effects you can do all that from here okay 
and then you have captions if you want to insert captions or auto captions you can insert from here and then you have the video um sizing you can select from different size right now this is 16 by 9 which is a youtube size you can go to 9 by 16 which is the youtube shorts or uh, TikTok or uh, you, um, Instagram reels you can see Instagram video size which is one by one and you can have four by five depending on what size you are targeting and you have uh, 21 by by nine also depending on what you have and what you are targeting and then down here you have the timeline this is where you bring in your footage and do most of the basic editings such as cutting joining uh, trimming transiting connecting the points and putting bureaus and all that you can do all that from here and you have the a number of features also from here like the undo redo cut delete and duplicate okay at the top here you have the play option and the moving in uh moving around of the clips to into different kind of um to different locations okay later i will show you in details how to do this and how to zoom in and out of the timeline also from here so this is just a bit about the general overview of the editing platform and clipchamp so i think that does it for this tutorial on the understanding the general overview in the next tutorial we are going to look at how to import a media and do some basic editing okay i think that does it for this tutorial thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one <laughs>